In this question, we have a molecular formula. Here it's for carbon dioxide, CO2. And our goal is to figure out the Lewis diagram for this molecule. So all the questions in this skill are only going to contain the honk elements, which are hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. And for these elements, we have a little shortcut, which is the honk one, two, three, four. So hydrogen can form one covalent bond, oxygen can form two, nitrogen can form three, and carbon can form four. And this makes sense if we have a look in our periodic table and we find each of our elements. So hydrogen here, hydrogen has one valence electron because it's in group one. And if you remember, hydrogen only needs two electrons to complete the octet rule. And so for hydrogen, it needs to gain one more electron, which would mean forming one covalent bond. Next, let's look at oxygen. Here's oxygen. Oxygen is in group 16. That means it has six valence electrons. Oxygen needs to have eight valence electrons in total in order to obey the octet rule. So it needs to gain two more electrons, which it can do by forming two covalent bonds. And the same for nitrogen and carbon. We can see nitrogen is in group 15 and carbon is in group 14. So nitrogen has five valence electrons and carbon has four valence electrons. So nitrogen has five, it needs eight to obey the octet rule, so it needs to gain three more electrons, which it can do by forming three covalent bonds. And carbon has four valence electrons, it needs eight according to the octet rule, so it needs to gain four more electrons, which it can do by forming four covalent bonds. So that's where the honk one, two, three, four comes from. And we're gonna use that to draw our diagram. The other thing we need to know is the total number of valence electrons in this molecule. So first let's go and just check our periodic table again. We need to know the number of valence electrons that a carbon atom have and the number that an oxygen atom have. So we already had a look at this. Carbon has four valence electrons. Oxygen has six valence electrons. So carbon has four valence electrons. Oxygen has six valence electrons. And in our molecule, we have one carbon and we have two oxygens. So that's gonna be one times four valence electrons plus two times six valence electrons. That gives us a total of 16 valence electrons. In our molecule. So we need to have 16 valence electrons on our diagram in total. Okay, so let's start by drawing one covalent bond between each of our atoms to join them together. So now our, our molecule is all attached. However, oxygen should be making two covalent bonds and carbon should be making four. So if we add one more bond between each of these, Oxygen now has two bonds on it for this oxygen. This oxygen also has two bonds on it. And our carbon in the middle has one, two, three, four bonds. And that matches with our hunk one, two, three, four rule. Okay, wonderful. So we've got our bonds drawn. We also need to add our valence electrons. So remember, they should have eight electrons each in their valence shells, since these are um, atoms that need to obey the octet rule. So let's start with the carbon atom and count how many electrons we have so far. So here we've got one, two, three, four covalent bonds. Each covalent bond represents two electrons. So that's a total of eight electrons already represented on our carbon atom. So carbon is sorted. Next, let's look at this oxygen atom here. Currently, this oxygen atom has two covalent bonds on it, 
Each covalent bond represents two electrons, so that's a total of four valence electrons. But we need eight in order for us to obey the octet rule. So we need four more electrons adding. So that's two electron pairs need to be added on our diagram. So now we've got one, two, three, four electrons and two covalent bonds, each representing two electrons to give a total of eight. We'll then do the same for our oxygen over here. Currently it has two covalent bonds, which represents four electrons. So we need four more adding or two pairs adding in order to get a total of eight electrons there. We also need to check we have the correct number of valence electrons in total. So we already added up, we've got 16 valence electrons coming from one carbon and two oxygens. So let's just check on our diagram that we have 16 electrons in total. So we've got one pair here, that's two electrons so far. Another pair here, that's two more electrons to give a total of four. We have two covalent bonds here. Each represents two electrons. So that's four more electrons giving a total of eight. Then we have two covalent bonds here. That's four more electrons giving a total of 12. A lone pair here adds two more electrons giving a total of 14. And a lone pair here adds two more electrons giving a total of 16. So we have the correct number of electrons on our diagram. So we now know that this Lewis dot diagram is correct because we've checked the total number of valence electrons and we've checked the valence electrons on each atom to make sure they obey the octet rule. Same as we did in the analysis questions. Final questions here are to help us check our answer. We need to count how many of each type of bond we have and how many lone pairs. So firstly, single bonds. Single bonds are where we have just one covalent bond between two atoms. Here we don't have any single bonds. So that's gonna be zero. Double bonds, that's where we have two lines or two covalent bonds between two atoms. Here we've got two of those, one between this oxygen and this carbon, and one between this carbon and this oxygen. So we've got two double bonds. What about triple bonds? That would be where we had three lines between two atoms. We don't have any triple bonds here, so that's gonna be zero. Finally, for lone pairs of electrons, lone pairs are those pairs shown on our diagram that aren't involved in a covalent bond. We've got one, two, three, four lone pairs in total. So because I got all these questions right, I know that my diagram is correct. So this table is a way of us checking our diagram to make sure we got it right. So again, on these questions, we're using the honk one, two, three, four rule. Hydrogen can form one covalent bond, oxygen can form two, nitrogen can form three, and carbon can form four. We're also using the total number of valence electrons to make sure that the total number of electrons on our diagram matches the number provided by the atoms in our molecule. And finally, we're checking that each of our atoms obeys the octet rule.